man, I could really go for a nice Panzerati right about now. Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. I'm Burning Dogface, and despite the poor showing in the last episode, I'm still determined to figure this thing out. You see there? I don't know what that was about. I think I'm getting those things when I'm near these, which is not helpful, considering I'm supposed to use the spider sense to also know when dudes are nearby, and when, uh, people are in danger. Using it as GPS isn't very helpful. You know what I would prefer? I mean, this game came out the year before Infamous, so of course they wouldn't have that as a reference, but, uh... In Infamous, one of your powers was the ability to send out a ping that would briefly make all the collectibles in the area show up on your map. And, you know, I've already got the ability to do this. Okay. <sighs> Frustrating. Alright, put my badass suit on. It does work a lot better. Except for vans. Fuck this van. Actually, it's a parking hazard. God damn. Okay, sticking to cars. Nope. Why the hell did that car explode? The first one. Tell you what, let's blow this one up. Arg! I'm apparently the mutant enemy logo. Maybe that guy will get injured. What the hell was that? Oh, that's so cool! You know what that reminds me of? Uh, someone mentioned it in the... I believe it was my friend Keegan mentioned it in the comments. Uh, maximum Carnage on the Genesis. It was a two-player, you know, it's Brawler, Streets of Rage style. Where uh, one player was Carn uh, no, Carnage, one player was uh, Spider-Man, the other one is Venom. And uh, they mostly played identically. But I really liked that when you were playing as Venom, uh, and you used the moves that caused Spider-Man to use his, uh, webs, Venom just shot tentacles out, and it looked really badass. Alright, uh... It's alright. I'm gonna shoot you with webs now. Hey, wait. No! Okay, that was dumb. <laughs> but funny. I really like that one guy who got popped up onto the ledge. Oh. It kept the suit. That's really weird and mildly unnerving. That's better. Then again, evil does look good. Hey. You remember the way that, uh... No, sorry, I, was just, I never finished that other thought. Yeah, so, uh, the animations for Spider-Man just have him shoot webbings out and then do stuff. But, uh, the ones with Carnage are always slightly different in that he pulled the tentacles back in at the end. How the hell am I gonna get that? Exactly what I wanted to happen. I 
keep hitting that button for some reason, as if that's going to be the ping one. Uh, yeah, great. That's what I would have meant to happen. It's like in that Jason Statham movie where he scraped the bomb off the bottom. I totally saved your life just now. Well, these guys clearly know what they're doing. Let's follow them. <sighs> Apologies, Burning Dog fans. I don't normally suck this bad at video games. Actually, I quite enjoyed, uh... The Amazing Spider-Man game. Well, the truth of the matter is, uh... I actually ordered this game last August, and, uh... Got my hands on it last September. Like, 2012, I'm talking. So in about July, I, uh... Went and saw The Amazing Spider-Man. And did, uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and did, uh... Well, it was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I'm one of the people who didn't really like Spider-Man 3. Uh... And I guess I was just letting the, uh, cynicism get to me. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the Spider-Man, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man movie, and it, uh, kind of reinvigorated my interest in the character. The way that the, uh, 2007 Transformers movie got me back into that franchise. Someone tell me again why I'm collecting these things. What is it level 5 of? Uh, anyway. At that point, the, the Amazing Spider-Man game was only available on consoles, so I just went out and got it. And I quite enjoyed myself. And as I'm playing it, I was, I was thinking to myself how unique a, uh, you know, a, a character to control Spider-Man is. Because let's face it, he's basically the only person in uh, all these games, all these games, and uh, he's the only person in mainstream comics who gets around like this. You know, there was uh, a storyline where Tony Stark made him a suit of. Uh, flexible armor. They called it the Iron Spider. And, uh... Peter specifically requested that it not have uh, the usual thrusters and jet boots that uh, Tony's armors do. And the reasoning for this was simply that, uh... Half the people I know can fly, but I'm the only person in the world who gets around by swinging on a web, and I wouldn't want to give up my trademark. So yeah, you know, the th as I played more of the game, the thought kind of stuck with me, and, uh, oh Jesus. That's basically the thing that led to me ordering this game. I just didn't know it would be this much more unwieldy than the other one. I really don't feel like I have any grasp on what I'm doing at any given moment. I've wandered off too far. There are no crimes happening underneath me. Oh! And I got 11 of those and I wasn't paying attention. I do tend to get lost in my rambling. What's that?
Who man? Oh, it is Who man. Who man's hot wax. I don't think that's a reference, but then there are kind of a shitload of characters in the Marvel universe, so. always makes me feel better. You know, of course, uh, very shortly after I actually ordered the game, uh, they put the Amazing Spider-Man game out on Steam, so if I just waited a couple weeks, I could have played a game I had a better grasp on uh, and solved the idiotic problem with Amazon altogether. It really is a baffling array of uh, things that just don't ship to uh, Canada from Amazon. A friend of mine tried to get me uh, a new wired controller for my birthday. Well, I discovered that the official Xbox uh, wired controllers don't go to Canada. My brother just tried to order a, uh... It doesn't even say, like, no, oh, stats up, but... Whatever. Oh, it looks like my meters went up. Hmm. Yeah, my brother tried to order the Lego set of the DeLorean from Back to the Future. No dice there either. Okay. Let's check something here. Jump cut. Okay. Haven't really found anything else useful. Nothing I can use right now, anyway. Suppose I could find a rocket launcher guy and stand with a car in between me and him, but decided for now I'm going to try an ability I forgot I had. I missed. All right, that doesn't actually affect cars. You piece of shit. This affects cars. No! Gold darn it. What am I gonna do? Ah, uh, I just run around punching you if I thought it would work. Stupid cab. What? Maybe I will find a rocket launcher guy. What am I doing? Sup? Oh god, what is even happening? Well, it feels good to shore you can a guy to death, but... Do-do-do-do-do-do-dum-dum-dum... 
Da 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 da. Uh, I can't blow up a guy who just cheered at me, even if I couldn't make out a word he was saying because of all that hissing. I'm on the wrong end of, uh, it looks like I am on the wrong end of Central Park again. I'm not locked on anything, it really is detecting these guys. Well, if they're increasing my health and stuff, it's probably for the best to get more. Less I Hey <laughs> It's always left trigger to lock onto a civilian and then B to grab them. That's what the instructions in the corner that I always fail to follow, say. This could be interesting. Um, ah, stretch. It's a bad sitting position. My back is starting to hurt. Oops. Boom! Kaboom! Okay, I guess I'll just go around hucking cars around. Booyah! The light is green! Oops, that's the wrong button. That's the button. Ah, God! The, uh, button, incidentally, it's the... It's left bumper and Y, the same combo that I use to, uh... <laughs> summon... No, not summon Luke Cage. It's the same button I use to get... Dole out the harshness on the big guys. Nope. Well, on the plus side, now I know I can do this. Don't. Still nothing. I wonder if I can blow up this cop car. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, it kind of looks like Nico Bellic. More like a Nico Bellic cosplayer. Ow. Nope. up. I'm in her base, blowing up her cars. Ooh! No. Stupid van! Okay, so this video wasn't terribly interesting. Now that I found this, oops. Whoa, what in the hell? Oh, because I was locked onto a dude by accident. You'd think these explosions would really hurt someone, but no! This is a surprisingly safe pastime. <laughs> I 
haven't gotten any black points since I started doing this. No, don't lock onto the man. Booyah! Actually, it looks like that's just. It looks like it's happening in the dust with Y. No? I don't know. I know that it's working like this. Ah. Sorry, this hasn't been the most exciting episode. I hope all these ridiculous explosions have made up for it. God, it's like you can't... What if he does it? Does that hurt people? I just want to do this one more. Did you hear that? That dude is saying something like, uh, what did you do with the real Spider-Man? I thought they were cheering me because my meter was all red. It looks that way in the uh, allies meter. Unless that's just Luke Cage's alignment. Wait. No, I can scroll around. So I'm actually doing pretty well. But, uh. What if the only reason they're cheering is because I'm wearing the red suit? I've had uh, an interesting idea that will uh, get some experimentation next time. Just hang around civilians in a black suit and see what happens. Uh, in any event, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been Let's Play Spider Man Web of Shadows. Tune in next time as we continue our never ending quest to save three civilians. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get to fight a supervillain instead of random dudes. Uh, later!